Welcome back everyone to another episode of Trail Tested where I get to review gear for the very first time and give you my first impressions. Today, probably my two most anticipated trail shoes of the summer. Let's have fun. All right, so let's talk about what we're gonna run in today. I'm actually really excited about this trail tested because these two pairs of shoes are probably some of my most anticipated for the summer. First, from Nike, it's the Zumex Zagama. Highly tractioned, nice, comfortable upper, reminiscent of both the Wild Horse, the Kyger, the new Ultrafly Trail. This thing has a lot of interesting features that I'm excited to test out. I'm gonna put it head to head with the brand new Hoka One One Mafate Speed 4. Uh, super dynamite shoe, heard good things about it. Great outsole, Vibram light base, uh, some jackered upper materials, their Hoka cushioning that we're known for. Profly Plus midsole material. Both of these shoes weigh within one gram of each other, so they're very comparable, and that's why I'm excited to put them head to head because I think they'll suit the same sort of trail runner, the same sort of trails. This is gonna be super fun. Uh, quick reminder, both of these shoes were provided by the manufacturer. I'm under no obligation to say anything positive or negative about either of these shoes. I'm not financially compensated in any way for anything in this review. Uh, and again, all opinions are my own. This is a first impressions video, so full reviews are coming for both of these shoes on this channel here soon. Um, I think at this point, it's time to go for a run. All right, off with these, yeah! And on, ooh, I don't know which shoe to choose. Kim, what shoe should I choose? The Zagama. You want me to start with the Zagamas? Kim's had hers for a while. I just got mine. Very, very excited about these. Lace them up. Never put my feet in these before. This is the Maiden Voyage. As you can tell. You know, I really like the looks of these. The purple, the blue. That sort of like salmon color. Yeah, these are super cool. Nike obviously always known for their looks. Parking lot test. Okay, cushion, lots of it. I can feel it. As far as other gear, water bottle, bear horn. We've been seeing tons of bears recently. So uh, I am not gonna run without this out here right now. So I'm gonna tuck it into a pocket and then we're gonna start our first loop. Oh yeah, super cushioned. I can tell right off the bat. Nike's not known for super grippy outsoles, so we'll have to uh, play the long game with these and see if they actually hold up. Today should be super fun. I think the plan is to actually hit up Nook, which is my favorite trails. We used it in last trail tested. And then we're gonna run some downhill. I really just wanna see how these shoes hold up on steep climbs and steep descents. I'm imagining that the Nike Zagama is gonna be a really classic, like ultra shoe. Great for longer distance, 20 plus miles. So I just kinda of wanna find the groove with them, keep the pace nice and mellow, keep the terrain undulating, maybe a little challenging, and just get a good vibe with the shoes, you know? It's a little moody in the woods today. It's actually one of the first days we've had overcast skies. It's been 90 plus, record breaking here in the Northwest. Let's go this way, up Nook. And uh, it's honestly one of the first cooler days we've had in quite some time. Very first impression, they're a lot more flexible than I thought, because just based off of flexing them with my hands, the shoe felt really stiff, primarily from midfoot back. But I'm not feeling that at all underfoot right now. Nice big thick stack of that Zoom X. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to test the wet conditions with these shoes and that traction just hasn't rained in months here. Hello, bridge. Uphill we go. You might remember this exact section from the last trail tested. It's kind of where Nook starts to go up. It's not super technical at all, but there's enough undulation up through the lush green forest. It just gets better and better the higher we go up. So the cameraman just informed me in between takes there He's like, these are the two shoes that I have the most questions about and want to see this comparison. And I'm like, dude, that's why I'm doing it. Cause I also want to know the difference. Like looking for a shoe to go long, both of these seem to be the choice. Tons of cushioning, decent outsole. The Nike's still up for debate based off of their history. Comfortable upper, roomy upper, protection, like all those things. So far the Nike's are fun. I mean, I'm, just under a mile into it. I really can't wait for the downhill, honestly. That's a big question. Can I open up 
and not feel like I have to hold back. Good grip in the soft stuff here. Good job with the zigzag. Thank you. You know, something that this shoe has that I am questioning at this point is the gusseted collar around the ankle, which is a carryover from the wild horse. And it was something I wasn't really a fan of because it did let dirt in from time to time. It doesn't really lock on your ankle very well. These are doing okay. I'm actually feeling like they're holding on better than I thought. Great protection so far. It's just that stack of midsole keeping me up away from anything underfoot. Continuing our little jog uphill. We're almost to the top of Nook here. It's getting the last, I don't know, couple hundred feet of vert as we top out on Nook. The grip is great. Ooh, big slug. That's a big one today. All right. This is that last push to the junction. Steepest section. Really loose. Yeah, the deep lugs. So good on these. We'll see what they do in wet, but for now, they work exactly how I imagined. And here we are. It's a junction with talus. We're hanging a right. Flattens out for a little bit. Let's open her up. You love this little section under the tree, a little rocky, just fine. Just fine. Yeah, I can feel the bounce of that Zoom X. It feels a lot more than the Ultrafly Trail, which I welcome. I like more. Coming out, Talus, straight down section line. This is where we can have some fun. Watch your head. Whoa. Whoa. A lot of low hanging branches there. Man, the purchase on these is great. Confidence is not an issue on this sort of faster, swoopy single track. Yeah, I feel great. A little sharp left, loose on top. Handles it with ease. Okay, coming up on the bridge. It's dry today. Pancake dry. <laughs> dry as a pancake. Boop, boop, boop. Woo. My shorts really are falling down. Can't keep them up, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, through the green tunnel. A little rocky through there, no problem. You know, I actually, oh yeah, let's take the rough side, yeah. Whoa, I might need to relace. There's a log up here I'm gonna stop at. I just wanna get them tight on my foot because they're opening up a little. Yeah, I'm running into a little bit of looseness. So I'm gonna relace these bad boys. Yeah, I'm just gonna redo the laces on both the shoes. I'm gonna do the double. I tend to do the double lacing on all review shoes after two or three runs. Not too tight. Double it up. All right. Sweat my ass off. Keep going downhill. Oh yeah, much better. The shorts on the other hand, woo! Also keeping my heads up in case of an owl. I don't need two pairs of shorts soiled. Yeah. Yeah, these are fun. Fun shoes. One thing I am noticing on uneven surfaces, rocky surfaces, there is a bit of wobble because the midsole stack is thicker. The outsole chunks are in very specific parts of the outsole. The shoes tend to be stiffer in some parts over others. So they do roll a little bit. So just watch your ankles. I can see how it'd be pretty easy to do a little ankle roll. So far, I'm just really liking them. They're very comfortable. The upper is very comfortable. Midsole is of course very comfortable. <laughs> nice through there. We'll take a right here. 
and we'll connect this dirt fire road to a little single track back to the car. So I plan on putting a ton more miles in the Nike Zagamas and just seeing what terrain they prefer and especially in inclement conditions, that'll be the ultimate test. Man, it might be overcast, but I am sweating. You hang a, hang a Ralphie. This is also where we see the most bears is right through here. There was a two or three week stretch where I ran into at least one bear a day. All right, let's push the pace a little bit, kick up some dust, see what's what. Through the Rudy sections. Yeah, they can hold their own. I mean, we're in the last half mile, heading towards the car. I can kind of summate all my thoughts about the Nike Zoom Exagama. I mean, I'm loving it. First run, super comfortable. The midsole, super soft. I love Zoom X. I've talked about it before. The outsole is the big question, and then the stability of the shoe is the big question. It does want to move around a little bit on uneven surfaces. Just what requires a bit more break in, I think. I absolutely plan on running a ton more in these, but so far, so good. Let's get back to the car and check out the Mafates. All right, time to switch. Super excited to see how these two compare. Probably gonna do the same loop again, just to really compare the two shoes on the same terrain. All right, off with the Nikes. They have been fun and enjoyable and soft and comfortable and delightful. It's time for some Hocus. Mafate, speed, four. Get that upper all tied down. We'll open them up a little bit before we double lace. I don't know what it is with shoes this season and the color orange, but I've reviewed and tested more orange shoes in 2022 than any other year ever. Oh, they're pretty different. Pretty different, actually. Okay, first few steps, I can already tell you, they're pretty dramatically different. They're very cushioned, so they have that in common with the Nikes but it just feels like the front of these shoes have a lot more squish and width, which is weird because I never really feel like Hoka's are very wide shoes. But these on the lateral side kind of want to roll out a little bit compared to the Nikes. They're very comfortable. It's not a problem. It's just very different. These are going to be really interesting on the descent of section line. Yeah, I can already tell also the fit is a little different. My pinky toes are sort of rubbing up against some of that jackered upper. It's not a problem, it's not a hot spot. The toe box isn't quite as round as the Nikes. It's really interesting going from the Nikes to these. The other interesting thing is that these have Vibram light base. I love that outsole. I'm very excited to have another pair of Hoka's with Vibram, especially as we start getting into the fall and winter months. They're gonna perform great. I already know that that outsole performs great. The Nikes, I don't know. Let's get some climbing in. The best way to describe these, it kind of has that classic long Hoka shape. Uh, Hoka's not really known for their width in the upper. These are cer certainly holding true to that. So just initially, these may not feel quite as stable under the forefoot as the Nikes. I predict that to change. Elite power hiker. Yeah, professional. It's like hiking, but with power up through the dense jungle, bright green, nice and humid in here, super sweaty. I apologize for all the sweat spots. You know, I can already tell I'm gonna wanna relace when we get to the top of this section because that swallowtail leaves a little bit of room to grip my ankle. So it's a little loose back there. Just taking my time on the way up here enjoying the climb. I don't want to rush it. I might even go to a power hike. Ah, that feels better. I'm just so amazed by the beauty of Tiger Mountain. It takes my breath away. Hello tree. Hello bushes. Yeah, again, this is that sort of loose section. A lot of dust and gravel on the surface. You know, I have no problem with this Vibram. 
Ah, oh, ears are popping. That's a good sign. Means we're getting up. All right, last big punch. Here we go. Super loose, super steep, plenty of grip. I mean, just like the Nikes, it's not really slipping out or anything. Hanging on. Oh, I'm gonna power hike the last 20 feet because I don't give a fuck. Oh, no shame. Get my workout on today. All in the name of shoe testing. Last little power hike. Hang a right on Talus. Finally, runnable terrain. Let's see what the Mafates are up to, baby. Oh yeah, definitely need to relace. <laughs> Coming through this little rocky section. That's the noise you have to make. Totally good. Plenty of grip. All right. So before we head down section line, let's relay. So I'll just do it here. Um, yeah, these things are really opening up like the upper because it's this jackered mesh. It's a lot more material being used, overlays and everything. And unfortunately, like my ankles are really loose in there because of this dang swallowtail. This is a similar issue I had in the Tecton X. The lacing just kept bringing the whole upper together. Same thing on this side. Yeah, a bit. Three, two, one, bye! Ah! Whoa! Shorts are coming off. Here we are. Oh yeah, that's much better. So much better. Excuse me. I think my shorts were coming off there. YouTube might flag this video if I wait too long to pull them up. Yeah, that relays helped a ton. Still feel a little gap on the Achilles where that swallowtail takes off. Not a fan, but man, this grip is great. And that ProFly Plus, super great. Very comfortable on this descent. Whoo! Uh, real quick, what I'm noticing, I wanna point this out. This vamp is a really soft, stretchy material. Right around the vamp is a welded overlay that does catch my toe. You can kind of see where my toe's popping up there. And when that toe pops above on the descent, it wants to catch, a little toenail wants to catch. I'm gonna be very, very cautious because I've had that happen where the toenail wants to like rip off. I don't like it. I don't think you like it. I'm gonna try to avoid it. All right, we're gonna stay to the left here, go through the rocky. Oh yeah, eats that stuff up like cake. No biggie. Down through this loose gravel. Super fun. No problems. Good ground feel. So the Nikes would sort of absorb everything and kind of make it disappear. These I'm feeling rock tips and stuff, which is actually pretty great for ground feel on a descent. So it's good midsole without being too thick or too much. For now, let's wrap up the descent. Wee! Now back out into the open, down this little connector. Still got my trusty horn, just in case. Hopefully we don't need it. Back out here on the gravel, nice wide open. You know, this is the ultra miles, right? This is replicating all those long stretches. And I really wanted to do that in the Mafates because they were good on the descent. They were good on the climbing. But I can absolutely feel sort of the unevenness in the ProFly on this flat surface. This is a really fun comparison, to be honest. Two very good shoes, two very capable shoes. Last mile, here we go. Wee! Wee! Picking up the pace, feeling good. Last tenth of a mile or so here. So let's wrap up my thoughts with the Mafate Speed 4. Um, super comfortable. Cushioning is fantastic. The upper is going to require more break in. I'm a little worried about the materials being maybe a little too thick. Uh, but otherwise, a very comfortable, good ground feel, great for ultra shoe with plenty of grip. Here on this gravel flat section, what I was sort of feeling is an unevenness in the midsole. Very similar to the Speed Goat 1s. More testing will hopefully even it out. But for now, I'm kind of leaning towards the Nike. Ah, the fact that I have to run a bunch of more miles in both pairs of shoes makes me so upset. Thank you for coming with me on today's Trail Tested. Let's wrap it up. Did y'all have fun today? Did you? I did. 
And that, my friends, wraps up another episode of Trail Tested. It's a doozy uh, today. Super fun Hoka Mafate Speed 4 and super fun Nike Zagama. I'm very excited about both of these. Again, initial impressions, uh, full reviews coming for both of these shoes onto this channel here very soon. So make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell, all that good stuff. Uh, consider joining the GR crew. Head on over to patreon.com slash the ginger runner. All tiers uh, support this channel and everything that we do here, but there's also an amazing community. We talk about gear all the time. We have a discord server. And if you have any questions or any of that kind of stuff, there's a whole community of people from around the world, just like yourself there to answer it. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks everyone. Get out there, train hard, race harder, and part of the hardest. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. I am elite power hiking. Yeah, yeah. That's how they do it. <laughs> <laughs>